Hello, you guys. Well, as you can see, she only got second degree for killing her kid. That's really sad because when people out here, you know, selling crack cocaine and drugs, different kind of drugs, they get over life, basically 20 years to 15 years, and she's basically finna get a walk in the park for killing her kid, her own flesh and blood. And I feel like this, you guys, you know, I've been thinking, having a long think about this. You know, a lot of these people, they're basically, you know, trying to get rich, you know, off this. You know, they're trying to get rich because they feel like, you know, a lot of people don't want to buy books about them killing their kids and stuff. Don't support no serial killer. I would not support no serial killer. I'm sorry. You know, because that's basically you supporting somebody for killing their kids. You know, and these people getting rich off killing their kids to me, it seems like, you know, it's just extremely crazy. You know, the way you look at it, look, look at it you know, people be want to buy, buy their stories, make movies out of these people killing their kids and stuff like that. It's like basically you liking people for killing their kids, and that's not where it's at. And, you know, people selling crack cocaine, they get 20 years point blank or, or more you know I mean and then they say she didn't premeditate how the hell she didn't premeditate because you know this lady thought about it from that night to 11 o'clock lied to the police told them you know she don't know her son that she called it 11 o'clock you know all this net I mean she you know plotted put her baby in the nearest cemetery I mean, if she was, you know, one thinking, don't you think her baby would have stayed in that particular room where she did it or whatever? She said he wouldn't stop crying or something like that. That's what I heard. Come on now. If you don't want your kids, give them to a relative. Give them, give them up. Don't just kill these kids. These kids, they didn't have no. They basically didn't get, you know, they had a whole life ahead of them. And their mom just took it like you eating a bag of candy. They killed their own kids, you guys. And you know what? Do not support these losers. Don't buy their books or anything because you know what? They getting recognition off killing their kids. And that, that really hurts me. And you know, people who selling drugs, they get... 15 years like they did some crack I mean drugs is bad don't get me wrong but when you look at people who killing their kids and they getting off basically what you guys think about the system tell you know write your comments maybe we can do something about this system cause this system is really jacked up you know this lady kills her own one year old kid a baby and she getting, she basically having to walk in the park in jail. She'll be out soon, probably three to four years max. You can get like, I think for second to grain, it's like four to seven years, you guys. I mean, three to four, she out. That's sad. But once again, you know, I, I won't be supporting the loser. Whoever then killed their kids and got by, I won't be buying your book. I won't be reading your book. Because that's extremely stupid. I'm not finna for support no killers. And these people actually getting rich off killing their kids. Wow. Shake your head, you guys. Do not support them losers. They killing their kids. I mean, talking about they didn't, she didn't premeditate. What you guys think? She had a hole from night. To 11 o'clock and she said somebody stole her baby but she didn't premeditate that's the thing we call life you guys that thing we call life but hey you guys I'm out happy um, happy Thanksgiving and you guys be um, safe because you know it's a lot of people get robbed around Thanksgiving and Christmas I want you guys to be safe out there in these mean streets because, you know, know where you're, you're safe these days. You're not even safe in your own home, you know. So we just got to stay prayed out, 
pray up and keep things going and God bless you all who watch the story of Tyler you all have a blessed and wonderful day you guys Ma.